Hey guys, so in today's video, we're going to be talking about how to use the Surfshark VPN. This right here is one of the most affordable and at the same time, high quality VPNs on the market. Now, of course, the first step is to head over to their website, pick a plan, download the VPN and install it. I'll have a link for that in the description and it'll even get you a discount so that you're getting the best possible price. Once you have it on your computer, there's going to be basically three sections. On the left, you have the sidebar where you can get to the VPN and any other add-ons and the settings. Then you have the main side panel right here, which is the VPN locations that you can connect to. Surfshark has a hundred different countries to choose from across thousands of servers. And you also have some specialized type of connections over here. I'll get to those in a minute. On the right side, you have the location that you're connected to and some real time data about it. So you see the IP address that the VPN has given you. You see how long you've been connected, how much you've uploaded and downloaded and which settings are currently active. Now, the most basic way to use Surfshark is just literally to go into this list of locations, choose one and connect. So let's say, for example, you were in the United States and there's a show that you want to watch on Netflix, but it's not available and you know that it's available somewhere else. Maybe it's available in the UK. So we could just go right here. I can search for the United Kingdom and you can see right here I have a few different servers within the UK. You have London, Manchester. So I'll just choose one. Let's go with London and I can click continue in order to change my VPN location. It's going to say that I'm connecting. And in just a few seconds, I'm going to be connected up to that location. You'll see the new connection information show up on the right hand side with the new VPN IP address. Now, if you're not familiar with what an IP address is, it's basically a number looks like that. And it's very similar to your house address, your physical house address, but for your computer on the internet. So let's websites that you visit know who you are and where you're located. And since Surfshark here is giving you a new IP address, it makes it seem as if you're somewhere else. This IP address right here is connected to the UK. So now if you went to Netflix and you refresh the page, Netflix would think you're in the UK and you'd have access to all of the content that's available in that location. And using a VPN like this in order to access content on platforms like Netflix, Hulu, Disney Plus, Amazon Prime Video, it's very popular. One of the most common reasons that people use a VPN, but there are other uses. If you happen to be in the UK or several other countries now where a lot of websites are requiring age verification, you can use a VPN to make it seem as if you're somewhere else and you won't have to deal with all of that. You can use a VPN if you're gaming to connect up closer to a game server, potentially getting you more stable ping. You can use it to access online gambling, sports betting, or cryptocurrency exchanges that might not be available in your region. Or you can even use it if you're in a country like China, Russia, or Iran, where they have a restricted internet access in order to make it seem as if you're in a different country with freer internet. You can literally do all of that just by going into Surfshark and picking the right location. Now, probably like nine out of 10 times, one of these standard locations right here is going to be enough, but they do offer some more specialized connections. You have static IP, and these are going to give you the same IP address every time you connect to them. There are certain websites like financial and banking crypto sites that may not like to see your IP address changing all the time. That could be a red flag. So static IP will give you the same one every single time. You're going to be sharing these with other people using Surfshark as well. So they may not be as fast. And that's why you have the dedicated IP feature. This is a paid add on. You do have to pay a little bit more for this, but it's going to give you your own unique static IP, which should be a bit better at keeping your identity private and giving you faster speeds. You also have multi hop and this connects you up to two different VPN locations and then gets you over to the Internet for an added layer of privacy and security. In terms of VPN settings, you do have quite a bit of options here. So I'm going to go over here into the settings on the left hand side into VPN settings. Now, there's a few different settings. You have your startup, your quick connect settings. But the ones I want to talk about here are going to be clean web. This will block ads, trackers and malware when the VPN is connected. Very nice and handy. You have a kill switch. This is going to disconnect the internet if the VPN ever stops working. So if you're on a network like public Wi-Fi or really if you're doing anything where you want the VPN always connected, torrenting is a good example of this. You don't want your personal information being leaked out over the torrent network. It's a good idea to have the kill switch active. Then we have the protocol and this is how the VPN connects up to the internet. Choosing different protocols are going to give you different speeds. Now, there are certain features that may only be available with certain protocols. Normally, WireGuard is going to be the fastest one, but it's also going to 
be more limited. It's going to be a little bit more likely for a website to know if you're using Surfshark or using a VPN when you're using WireGuard. So in that case, OpenVPN is going to be better. It might be slower, but you're less likely to have a website know that you're using a VPN when you're connected with OpenVPN. That's because of a feature called obfuscation, which is only available with the OpenVPN protocol. If you don't want to deal with it, you can always just click automatic and Surfshark will automatically choose the best protocol for you. Next up, there's a setting here called bypasser, and this allows you to choose exactly what you want the VPN connected to. So you don't need to have everything connected to the VPN. That's the default. If you you don't have bypasser active then everything that you do on the internet will be connected through the vpn but with bypasser you can choose exactly what you want connected now in the advanced security you have invisible on lan that will hide your device on a lan network rotating IP will keep changing your IP address, giving you more privacy. Like I said, sometimes that can create a red flag for certain websites. That's why they have the static IP. But on the other side of things, if you want to have a lot of privacy, you can have rotating IP active and that will just keep changing your IP address without you having to do anything. And lastly, there's no borders mode. And this will help you get through firewalls in countries like China, Russia, Iran, all those places that have more censored internet. No borders mode should help you get around that. Now that that's pretty much everything there is to know for using the Surfshark VPN. With everything I just told you, you will be a pro at using Surfshark. The last things to cover here are not directly related to the VPN, but they're the add-ons that come with it, depending on your plan. Every plan comes with alternative ID, and this gives you a new set of information, a new set of credentials that you can use to sign up for different accounts on the internet, and it'll help you avoid getting spammed by marketers and advertisers. Now, if you pay for a higher plan, the Surfshark One or One Plus plan, you'll get even more add-ons. You have Surfshark alert that keeps track of the internet to see if you've had any data breaches, any of your personal information leaked out over the internet. There's Surfshark antivirus, which allows you to do scans of your entire system and even put vulnerable files into quarantine. So this is a really nice tool. And you also have Surfshark search, which is a search engine that gives you results without any ads, trackers, or factoring in your previous search results, a pure secure search engine. Now, the last thing that's important to mention about any VPN is how they do in terms of privacy and security. So Surfshark has done several no logs policy audits. They've done other audits as well. And this means that they've had outside companies come in and check out their system and ensure that they really are secure. They really are giving you a high quality product and that they're not keeping any of your personal information on their own servers. So this is just really important information to know about any VPN that you're considering purchasing. And on that, note when it comes to their price you're getting everything that i just mentioned all of those features the settings the hundred locations the ability to change your location you're getting all of that for between two dollars to four dollars and just about 20 cents per month now on top of that you're going to get three extra months for free if you want an even better deal you'll find a link in the description and you're also going to get a 30-day money-back guarantee so if you're not satisfied you can just contact customer support and get a full refund within those 30 days so like i said Surfshark is a really high quality, top notch VPN, and it's coming in at an extremely affordable price, especially when compared with the competition. You have VPNs like NordVPN and ExpressVPN. These are also very good. Personally, my favorite is ExpressVPN. This is the one I use on a daily basis, but they are going to be more expensive than Surfshark. So if you're looking for the best budget VPN, in my opinion, check out Surfshark VPN. That's going to be it for this video, guys. I hope this helped you out. If you have any questions, comments, any ideas for a future video, you can leave that in the comment section below. Have an amazing day. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.